hello everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel in this video i want to share with you how i made this delicious giant chicken pie this is a party's delight this is perfect for a get together and i can assure you that your guests will love this keep watching if you like to see how i made this and please give the video a huge thumbs up my name is Ogi, and you're welcome to my kitchen let's get started I'll start by preparing the ingredients that I need for my filling. And the first one I have here is onion, which is already washed. And I've also proceeded to chop up the onion. I also have some Irish potatoes. I've scraped and washed this properly off camera. And it's time to cut them up and dice into small cubes. If you're new to the channel, hello, a warm welcome to you. My name is Ogi. Kindly consider subscribing and also turn on the bell icon so you are the first to get notified whenever I put out a new video. You enjoy your stay here and would love to have you join the family. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch me. You guys are simply amazing. You guys are truly, truly the best. I also have some carrots. I've scraped and washed this off camera as well and it's time to cut them up into small cubes as shown in the video. Feel free to take out or add to the ingredients that I use for my filling. You're free to add more vegetables, customize the filling to your taste. The ingredients that I need for my filling are ready and it's time for me to move on to the next step, which is to prepare my filling. In my preheated pan, I added a little vegetable oil. This should be about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And to that, I added the chopped onion. I fry the onion for about two minutes for it to become fragrant. Mm. I added the diced carrots and diced potatoes, gave it a good stir, and I continued to cook. After cooking for about 3 minutes, it's time to add my seasoning. For seasoning, I went in with some curry powder, ground cayenne pepper, dried thyme, seasoning cubes, and salt. Feel free to season with your favorite spices. After adding the spices, I gave it a good stir and I continued to cook. After about 5 minutes, I went in with my diced chicken. This is chicken breast and it was seasoned and fried properly. After adding this into my pot, I gave it a good mix until they combined properly and I continued to cook. While that is cooking, I prepared my flour slurry. I mixed 1 tablespoon of flour in water. I mixed until the flour dissolved completely before adding it into my pot. I mixed until they combined properly. I'll cover the pot and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes. During this time, the carrot and the sweet potatoes will become soft. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. You're the best. After cooking for about 5 minutes, this is what I have. The carrots and the Irish potatoes are tender and properly cooked at this point. I'll transfer this into a plate and allow it to cool down while I move on to the next step of this preparation, which is to prepare my dough. I used about 3 cups of all-purpose flour for this recipe and I sift the flour off camera. Always ensure that you sift your flour to remove unwanted particles and also to prevent your dough from forming lumps. I used a teaspoon of baking powder, 1 over 8 teaspoon of salt. This is a good time to add all the dry ingredients that you need to make your dough. After adding the dry ingredients, I used my spatula to give it a good mix before going in with my margarine. I'll be using margarine for this recipe, but feel free to use either butter or margarine. This is about 250 grams of margarine. I'll add that into the flour. This is cold. I'll use my hands to break it up and then I'll mix until it becomes crumbly. 
please check the description box below for the list of ingredients that I used in this recipe and also the measurements. I'm done mixing and this is the texture I want. This is what you should be going for. It has to be crumbly like this. It's time to go in with the wet ingredients. I'll be using liquid milk for this recipe and I have about one cup of liquid milk. I'll pour this into the flour mixture and I'll mix to form a dough. While mixing, always ensure that you don't overwork the dough. I recommend you press it in until they come together as shown on your screen. At this point, I'll flour my work surface and I'll transfer the dough onto my work surface and knead for a few minutes. I will divide the dough into two, wrap each one with a cling film before I transfer into the refrigerator. I will allow it to rest for about 30 minutes, but this step is totally optional. After about 30 minutes, I'll bring out the dough from the refrigerator, flour my work surface before proceeding to roll out the dough. We're about to make a giant chicken pie. After rolling out the dough, I'll use a circular object. In this case, I'm using the lid of my pot to cut out a round ship. The dough you place on top has to be bigger and wider than the one beneath so it sits properly and also seals properly. I will cut out a bigger dough using a bigger lid and then I will take out the excess. I'll add a generous amount of the filling onto the first layer and I'll use my spoon to spread it out. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the recipe. At this point, I'll prepare my egg wash. I want to use it to seal the dough and keep the filling in place. And I'm using one egg for this. I'll wix the egg properly and I'll apply the wix egg on the edges of the dough. If you've watched up to this point and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please be cordial. Kindly hit on the subscribe button. Subscription is totally free. And also turn on the bell icon. This is also free as well. Please, you enjoy your stay here on this channel. I placed the second part of the dough on top of the first one. And then I used my fork to seal the edges. I'll also make small holes like perforations on top of the dough. This will help it to cook evenly when it gets into the oven. This is ready to go into the oven. I'll transfer this into my preheated oven and I'll bake until it is ready. 
I have some left over dough. I'll flat my work surface, bring out the dough, roll it out, and use my pie cutter to cut the perfect pie shape. Keep watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this video. After baking for about 25 minutes, this is what we have. Our giant chicken pie is ready and it looks so good. This looks so yummy. I'll cut this into small slices and you guys know the rest. Which drink do you think will go best with this? This is a party's delight. This is perfect for the whole family. Let me know in the comment section if you'll be trying out this recipe. This finished in no time. It's time to transfer the second badge of the spy into the oven and this is the result. It looks so good and yummy. We've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, share, leave me beautiful comments in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. Thank you all for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next one. Bye!